Here's my family guard model number FG777D smoke detector. Now this one's from the early 1990s and that's because it does the old beeping pattern, the 46, I think it's no 5646 or whatever sort. But either way, this one just takes a simple 9 volt battery and you may be familiar with the design because they've used these until sometime in the mid 2000s. And it was often, you know, also branded as a BRK unit. But common with the Family Guard design also recently. Some ripoff companies have also used this design for their smoke detectors. Especially the ones at Walmart. Here's a bit of the insides. Initially when I took it off the ceiling from where I live at, this one was in the hallway. And you know, it has a newer Family Guard detector, one of those cheap ones for five dollars. But either way, this one had a little trouble functioning as you see right here it's a bit dirty and stuff but I'm still working on cleaning it up now I had to fix the circuitry for the piezo horn because you know it will make a weak sound like for example here let me see if I get this to work well actually it works now but sometimes it just has a little trouble working. I'm going to close the cover now. And here's a quick demonstration. Now, usually I prefer to test it with smoke. So I will be back and test it with real smoke. Now the reason why I prefer using smoke is so I could actually show you that the ionization chamber still works. Well this one is an ionization unit as you saw. So I'm going to test it with real smoke right now. So I'm going to put it on the side, light some matches up, and watch the thing sound in a matter of seconds. And this one's actually pretty sensitive too. As you see, still works, despite the horn circuit not functioning sometimes. Now, thanks for watching.